Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management. One of the most important benefits of Adobe Analytics is its ability to call attention to unknown unknowns in your data set. These are anomalous data points, spikes or dips in key metrics that require further investigation to understand what drove them. I want to show you how easy it is in analysis workspace to display anomalies against any time series data. In this example, I'll just be a, an analyst working on an e-commerce website, and I'm going to start my analysis simply by adding revenue by day for the month of August 2016. Simple jumping off point for analysis, and a table that I might include in any project or, uh, or view that I might give to another member of my team. So I'm going to add revenue, and you'll notice that as soon as I add revenue, we start searching for anomalies in that data set. See that there in the table header. Once we find anomalies, they are displayed with this little icon, and you can mouse over the icon to see how far above or below the expected value for that day you were. So in this case, $268,000 of revenue on August 1st was 36% above the expected value for that day based on my historical data and the algorithms that we run as part of anomaly detection. I've got another anomaly down here where I was 36% below the expected value for that day. And you can see that it looks like $150,000 is pretty low for this, for this site for a single day. Another way to see this is using this gray line. We've added this, this little gray line here that you can kind of see uh, near, near my mouse that shows the difference between the value for that day, and uh, which is represented by this uh, green bar, and the expected value. So, so on August 3rd, I was a little bit low, uh, but I was not quite anomalous. I wasn't outside of the expected range for that day based on my historical data, uh, whereas on August 9th, I was below the expected range. So immediately, Analysis Workspace, without me having to do anything, without me having to say, I wonder if there were any anomalies in this data set, has called attention to uh, at least two data points, and I think there's a third down here, yep, uh, to three data points in the month of August that require some further investigation and some digging, maybe on my part or on my colleague's part. Now that's great, but we didn't stop there. We wanted to make it really easy for you to see these visualizations, or sorry, to see these anomalies. So we added them to line graphs as well. So if I add a line graph here, uh, it will immediately and automatically call out these anomalies with these white circles. So if I mouse over them, I can see that uh, they, they show anomalies. Um, and then these other data points are within my expected range, so they, they aren't anomalous, even if they were a little high or a little low. The green dotted line that you see here is the exact expected value for each of these days, and the, uh, the, the band here represents the upper and lower uh, expected range for those days. One of the uh, neat additions that we've made to an anomaly detection is uh, that it will now work on additional uh, granularities as well. So I could run a, a similar, uh, I could build a similar project, but show uh, months instead of days, and I would still get my anomalies based on my historical data at a monthly level. Um, the great thing about this is that if I save this project, if I share it with my colleagues, curate it, this anomaly detection functionality is preserved. So they will see these anomalies in their projects. And if you have these projects sent out by email, they will surface anomalies in there as well. Now let's say I want to turn off anomaly detection. Maybe I, I don't want to call attention to points that were above or below an expected range. Uh, I can come in here and I can uncheck show anomalies and I'm back to my, my normal, my normal uh, line graph view. Uh, and I can do the same thing down here in the table by turning off anomalies. One other thing that I'll mention is anomalies work great with conditional formatting. So if I turn on conditional formatting, you'll see sure enough, my anomaly is green, uh, showing that it was above. My, my bad anomaly was is red, where I was, was well below. Um, so these, these further call attention to data points that are important for me to take it or to notice, to take notice of and to do further analysis against. And all of this happens automatically in Analysis Workspace.